an affordable alternative that competes with expensive backpacking quilts. Hey everyone, Steven here from My Life Outdoors. You may be wondering, what's with the beanie? Well, I'm actually coming to you from on location high in the Pecos Wilderness, and I've already been out a few days, and well, my hair's not looking good. Trust me, you don't want to see it. Today, though, we're talking about backpacking quilts, and if you're looking to buy a lightweight, warm, and high-quality backpacking quilt, you're probably looking to spend around three to $400. Whether you're looking at Enlightened Equipment, Feathered Friends, UGQ, or one of the other great companies that make backpacking quilts, you're gonna drop some serious cash. But you don't have to. You could get a lightweight, high-quality down quilt that competes with Feathered Friends and Enlightened Equipment for warmth, quality, and weight, but only spend $179. Today I'm talking about the Featherstone Moondance 25 backpacking quilt, specifically some things that make this a really smart buy, and a few things that, well, I wish were just a little bit better. This is the $179 Featherstone Moondance 25. So before I get into the things I like about the Moon Dance, I want to explain a little bit about what Backpacking Quilts is because I happen to know that I've got some subscribers who have never heard of them before. But if you're already familiar with quilts, well then you can jump ahead to the timestamp on your screen. Basically what a Backpacking Quilt, or a Top Quilt as it's sometimes called, is really simplified. It's a sleeping bag without a back. And if you're new to backpacking, you may be wondering, well, why would I want a sleeping bag without a back? Well, quilts have a few benefits over sleeping bag. One, for the most part, the back of a sleeping bag is wasted weight and bulk because the insulation in your sleeping bag can only keep you warm when it is lofting up, creating airspace between you and the cold. But when you lay inside your sleeping bag, you're actually crushing all that insulation and it can't keep you warm anymore. In fact, the only way that you're able to keep your back warm in a sleeping bag is because your sleeping pad has its own insulating value. And when sleeping bags are temperature rated, the rating assumes that you'll be using a fairly well insulated sleeping pad. So the quilt just cuts out the back of a sleeping bag, saving you weight and bulk and taking advantage of your sleeping pad's insulation properties. In addition to that, quilts are more versatile, and some people even say more comfortable, because they act more like a blanket than a sleeping bag. If you're hiking in warmer temperatures, you can use the quilt to just cover a portion of your body and regulate your warmth a little bit better. But on the flip side, the quilt doesn't have a hood, which means if it's cold, you're going to have to rely on other means to keep your head warm. So that's the basics of a backpacking quilt. Now I want to talk specifically about the Moon Dance 25 from Featherstone. Warmth. Warmth is probably the number one reason why you're looking into a quilt. I mean, after all, if a quilt can't keep you warm, then what good is it? One of the things that really impressed me with the Moon Dance was the fact that it has been ISO certified. You see, companies, they don't have to certify their quilts and sleeping bags, and they can arbitrarily rate their quilts whatever they want. But when you buy an ISO certified quilt, you have a pretty good idea of just how warm that quilt is going to be. The Moon Dance has an ISO comfort rating just above freezing at 36 degrees Fahrenheit and a limit rating of 26 degrees Fahrenheit. So when they advertise that this quilt is a 25 degree quilt, they're basically advertising the quilt's limit rating, which is the temperature where most warm sleepers will feel slightly chilled, curled up in a ball, trying to stay warm, but not shivering and not in danger of hypothermia. So while this quilt is rated to 25 degrees, cold sleepers will want to pay more attention to that 36 degree comfort rating, and warm sleepers probably won't want to take this quilt anytime it's below freezing. As for me, I have slept in the moon dance in temps as low as 37 degrees, which is actually pretty close to the comfort rating, and I only had a t-shirt on and my underwear. You see, when they test quilts, the mannequin in the quilt has on one full body layer of clothing, and it's sleeping on a sleeping pad with an R value of four. My sleeping pad was probably closer to half that. All that to say, the moon dance seemed to keep me warm and probably could go colder. There were times that I felt chilled, but I actually believe that this was due to small drafts that made their way in any time that I would toss and turn. And any time that I felt chilled, I would just reposition the quilt and I felt fine after that. In all honesty, I wasn't expecting temperatures to drop below the high 40s, so I didn't take the time to really secure this quilt to my pad. If I have, I believe that I could have prevented drafts from occurring and had a problem-free night. Wait. The Moon Dance is competitively light, coming in at just 23 ounces for the quilt alone and just one or two ounces more for the included pad straps. This is thanks to the 850 fill power down insulation, which not only has high loft, but has also been treated with down tech water repellency. 
You see, one of the problems with down is it's worthless when it gets wet. It can't insulate, it gets very heavy, and it can even be dangerous for hikers and campers. It's considered worth it though because of how incredibly light and compressible it is. That all changed a few years ago when companies like Downtech found a way to treat down feathers so that they repel water. It's not 100% effective, but it makes down a whole lot safer to use. Design. The Moon Dance has a very similar design to its more expensive competitors. There's a zipper and a drawstring at the bottom to create a foot box. This design leaves a small hole at the very end that can create a draft on cold nights. But to fix this, a lot of people will simply just stuff that hole with a sock. There are a few buttons and snaps that will allow you to snap the back together to creating more of a sleeping bag type feel. Or you can use the included pad straps to secure your quilt to your sleeping pad, minimizing drafts caused by tossing and turning. It features box baffles that run lengthways except around the foot box where the baffles go side to side. These long lengthways baffles are desirable because they prevent the down from falling to either side and creating a cold spot. And all the stitching seems to be very well sewn with no visible flaws that I found. Con. Okay, it's time for the con. And that's right, it's just one. And that's customization. See, the main thing that Moondance's competitors have that it lacks is customization. Feathered Friends and Lightning Equipment and UGQ are all making similarly designed quilts and they offer a ton of customization. Everything from the color of the material, the temperature ratings, and even the fill power. But the best that I can tell, Featherstone doesn't. They have one temperature rating, one fill power, one color scheme, and it's offered in two sizes. But again, you're buying a quilt that is less than $180. I don't know about you, but for the savings, I think the black and orange look great together. All in all, Featherstone seems like a young company that has come to the table ready to compete, with a handful of really nice features at an affordable price. I'm really pleased with my Moondance 25. I do need to let you know that Featherstone did send me this quilt for free to review, but these are my honest opinions. And I want to say thank you to Featherstone for gifting me this quilt and giving me the opportunity to review it. But what about you? What do you think about Featherstone Moondance 25? Had you heard of Featherstone before watching this video? Leave me a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like it below. It takes a lot of time and effort to make a video like this, and it's little interactions like those that keep me motivated to make more. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and follow me on Instagram at MyLifeOutdoors. I'd love to connect with you there as well. And as always, thanks for watching. Similarly, similar, similar, similarly, <laughs> similar. I can't say it. Similarly, similar, similarly, similar, similarly. They're similar.